In this lesson, we're going to take a look at some of the specialized attributes found in the Metal Ray Cook Torrance Shader. All right, now the Cook Torrance Shader is actually very similar to the shading models that are provided by the Blend Illumination Shader, but you'll see that there are some very important differences. So let's start by taking this Cook Torrance, middle click, and drop it onto our surface. So let's start by taking this Ambience and the Diffuse Color of this shader, make them a little bit darker so that way the overall specular effect can start to stand out a little bit more. And you can see now the effect of our shader, we start to get these specular highlights. But you'll notice that the specular highlights are actually colored. They do have a little bit of specialized color to them. So let's start by taking this. I'm going to press 7 on my keyboard and reposition my camera so that way we can start to see these specular highlights a little bit easier. All right, there we go. So the color that we're seeing as a result on the specular highlights are actually coming from this index of refraction. You'll notice, if you've already had a chance to look over the attributes found in the Metal Ray Blend Shader, that a lot of these attributes are identical, with the exception of the index of refraction red, green, and blue. So what this does is gives us the ability to control the index of refraction on all three of these color wavelengths. So we can start to see these effects a little bit easier if we were to increase the specular. Again, this is just a simple color multiplier, which starts to multiply the effect of the specular highlight that we're getting here. So if the index of refraction, red, green, and blue, are both set to the same values, we'll get a specular color of white. As you can see here. So likewise, we can start to colorize and start to give a little bit more of a distinct feel to the specular highlight. If we were to increase the reflection or the index of refraction to a higher number in one of these different channel values or one of these different color values. So depending on the overall color of your surface, if we had a surface that was a little bit more on the blue side and we start, wanted to start to give the index of refraction in the blue channel something a little bit higher, which will start to tint the specular highlight just a little bit more in the blue channel. And that now starts to give us just a little bit more of a colorized effect here in the specular highlights. Now again, we can start to mix and match these a little bit better. So if we were to increase the index of refraction on the blue, and also start to increase the index of refraction on the green, just to start to give a little bit more of a teal color to this you can see that we do have that level of control as well. All right, now one of the things that is actually very nice about this Cook Torrance shader is the fact that we do have the ability to get very, very strong highlights, which is something that we were not able to do with something like the Blend Surface Shader. So let's start by first decreasing this overall roughness just a little bit so we can start to get something a little bit tighter this were a wider value, we can start to increase the amount of microfaceting, which gives us a little bit softer highlight. With a very low value, we start to get this uh, much sharper result. Now, if all three of these color channels are set to one, you'll see that we get very little of the specular result. As we start to increase this, our result starts to become a little bit stronger. And you can see how we get these very strong defined specular highlights. Now we can start to increase these even higher. So if we were to increase these to a value of let's say 100, if we were to open up our render region and say this comparison, we can now start to get these very very strong specular highlights as a result of having this very low roughness value combined with a very very high index of refraction on the red, green, and blue channels. So this Cook Torrance shader is going to be very, very well suited for giving these, uh, these very, very strong specular highlights that are very, very tight, very strong, and very sharp. All right, so that's a look at some of these specialized attributes found on the Cook Torrance material.